Hello, my name is Enes Palas and this is my introduction to digital design class to a project video. I will start by showing my uh, design and how I implement it with Basis 2. Let's see, let's look at here. I have a VJ monitor in here that's showing time. My project is a actually multifunctional digital clock. It shows time and it has a stopwatch and alarm and the stopwatch has some different features like uh, stopping, resetting and taking four different lap times. When we look at my design implementation, I have a basis two board here with eight switches and four buttons. Uh, I have a touchpad, actually touch keypad that I'm using to change modes. I will show how it works right after I'm I finished the, uh, this part and here's my LED matrix 8 to 8 that uh, lights on and off when alarm is on and there's a buzzer in order to create some sound during my project. There's a lot of big background sound in our lab but I think it's not a big problem. Uh, for example it's now in stopwatch mode, it's counting and I'm changing switches and it stops right there, I can reset it and I can just resume it, start it again uh, actually let's program it again to show time starts from 0, uh, 0 0.00 uh, I'm just reprogramming it and it starts with 0, 0.00 my alarm time is 0, 00 now if I enable the alarm by turning the second switch you can hear the alarm light and sound it ran off let's look at how use how to use my project there's two buttons as I said before I can change my modes by using this keypad like this is the uh, first part the time this is the chronometer it actually it is just stop now just start it Okay, now it's counting. Let's pass through the... Uh, again, we are in clock part. I will stop the alarm for a minute. Okay. Uh, let's look at how my modes work. This is a very sensitive touchpad. It actually generates some pulses even if I don't push them, push the buttons. Let's look at I'm going to do uh, alarm set alarm set section this is the mode 2 I'm at mode 2 now actually I'm just arranging some time by clicking the buttons and changing segments to create to uh, choose my alarm time I chose my alarm time as 1126 and it automatically went back to the mode 1 I don't know why but it creates some uh, bug at my touchpad. Let's go to the chronometer again. As we see, it goes on even if I am at another mode. Uh, let's look at the uh, mode 4. Actually, uh, it generated a little. another bug. If I can go to mode 4, actually, in mode 4. Oh, this keypad is so problematic. I don't know why it goes to the sixth one, but I don't touch anything, but it creates... It perceives a touch at sixth button right there. Okay, it went off. I'm clicking the fourth, and this is the fourth one. I'm actually setting the clock from here. Just I'm at the last segment, I'm changing it. My time is 2012 now. When I set the switch on and off now in mode 1, as you see here, the first LED shows mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4, mode 5, mode 7, and mode 6. Uh, my mode 1 is time and it's now 2013, as you see. I set it to 2012 and it just passed one minute as it's counting the seconds. 
Also, these buttons, uh, this button is start and stop to stop watch. This one is reset. This one is taking lap one, lap two, lap three, and lap four. This is alarm on off, and the last one is uh, is to set the time. Uh, the, it set it in mod three, and this is the increment button. This is the segment selection button. You can change between. This is the first segment, second one, third one, and fourth one. Okay, let's let's play with the lap times. I'm opening the chronometer. As you see, it goes off, and I stopped it. Now in 98:46, I to take a lap time here. Lap one just goes on at 20. 01.42 I take lap 2 it goes on 3.68 I take lap 3 and lastly 5.55 I got lucky and lap 4 let's look at these laps that are saved the laps are contained in 5, 6, 7 and 8 modes let's I'm clicking the 5 one, it's 98.46 as we decided, as we stopped there. And the 6th one is 0 0.142. And let's look at the 7th one. 7th one is 0.368. And the 8th one is 5.55 as we stopped and saved these times. Actually, that's all. Uh, in my design, the, there was a uh, proximity sensor. That used to that was used to stop the alarm when it is needed. Uh, for example, in mornings, it will be easier to use to just put your hands on a sensor or for 10 or 20 seconds to close it. Even if I had a switch there, it looked very original idea for me. But uh, I couldn't handle the proximity sensor. There was a lot of problems and it was very inconsistent. I took some data from it, but it wasn't good as I expected, so I extracted it from my project. And this is the final uh, design of my project and final implementation. There was some bugs and errors, uh, even if I tested them, I think they will occur normally, but uh, actually there wasn't uh, there isn't so much error in that in my project and that's all thank you for listening to me and I want to thank my TA Tufail Ahmed and my friend Alvin Hajizadeh for their contributions to my project have a nice day